All right. What's up, everyone? Welcome to today's FOMC special event live stream, January 31st, 2024. How's everyone doing today? Yeah, sorry. I, you know, I had good intentions of putting together an FOMC intro song between the last one and today just didn't happen. All right, so the plan is, I've got it in my play, uh, trade plans sheet in the trade plans channel, uh, but the plan is here in about four minutes, I'm going to enter my FOMC iron condor. Looks like it's going to be about 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55 wide. A little red coming in today, though, to start the day. Market getting pulled down by it's like primarily Google and Microsoft. Google is down 6%. Lulu down 4%. AMD down 2%. NVIDIA down 2%. I guess Microsoft's only down 1%, a little over 1% now. Google and Microsoft had earnings. The Dow is being held up primarily by Boeing. Boeing also had earnings and it did well. Boeing's currently up almost 6%. I did not do any zero DTE this morning. Looks like some of you guys squeaked out some couple little profits as you you know if it's your first time trading it as you saw i mean you're just you're taking all the risk for a fraction of the return so to me it's just not really worth it but glad to see you guys squeezed out some profits so i i put on a uh theoretical position right at the open and that would have been the four dollar strikes would have been the 4870, 4930. So here's here's you know, it's trading at about 790. You can see where it is right now. Could have maybe squeezed out a little profit or trading about the same, a little off center to the left. So uh, it's kind of a re refresher of my FOMC trade. So the logic and the idea behind these is selling an iron condor just before the data is released, which is going to happen in about 11 minutes. And what happens is typically after the data is released over that 30 minutes leading up to the press conference, we get some decent implied volatility contraction. Um, and as long as the move stays somewhat muted, uh, we should be able to book some profits. And then we'll close that out just before the press conference starts, because once Jerome opens his mouth, things tend to start getting a little bit more volatile. And so shortly after he starts speaking, I'm going to enter a long strangle and try to capture some of that uh, volatility with some long premium. I'll manage just the shorts and then I will, yeah, I'll, I'll probably just close out the longs as well. Re-enter uh, my longs around 30 Delta. Okay, so it's time for me to enter my short iron condor. So I'm going to go.
55 wide. Oops, got to buy my longs. I posted earlier, uh, the calls are juiced today compared to the puts if you go equal distance away. All right, so I'm going the 4920 calls and the 4865 puts. Got filled at uh got filled at 855. So I've got I just did my normal, um, and I actually I got to change my stops here, so I'm using a four dollar trailing stop. Actually, the stop on my back test is not trailing. I used my template that uses a trailing stop, and it's at a five dollar trailing stop. So I'm going to change that to a four dollar fixed. And this template has a has a scale out. I will uh I mean if I get to 20%, I'll close half. Actually, my back test is 30%. Sorry. If I get to 30%, I'll close half. I'll try to squeeze any more out. Typically, you don't hit your profit target of 30% very often. If you kind of look through the tr uh the trade log, you'll notice that in the back test. Hey, Sharky, if you go to the trade plans channel on my sheet there, it's the FOMC trades. There's two of them. And you can pull up the back test and see all the details there. I got 855 happy. Yeah, Lissos, I, I like to close it just shortly after the press conference starts because the uh there's certainly more volatility typically during both when he's talking and then after he gets done yeah that's what i was saying earlier data list so if you look at like okay we're trading at 4890 so if you go 10 20 30 40 50 let's say 60 points away on the call side those options are trading for a little under a buck 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. The puts are only trading for 50 cents. It's usually the other way around. I'm doing my normal FOMC 10 lot for FOMC. It's your first time trading, either paper trade or do it tiny. Five minutes until the data release.
Chad, I didn't see in Zoom before. Are you, do you want to jump on here or are you just going to stay in the chat? All right, there you go. Closed out some calendars yep. this morning for some nice profits. It looks like it would have done better, even even better holding longer. Got quite a little vol pump this morning with the market dropping. Which isn't that normal. I mean, for uh morning for FOMC, I mean volatility usually doesn't spike like it did today. We usually get kind of just state stability. Yeah, I've never really traded the FOMC, so just kind of watching today. Yeah, Lo says I just closed the balance at 225, correct? Interested to see if we're going through all-time highs or we're going to get a pullback. Love to see some down movement. Let's wait till Jerome starts talking, then we'll get some down movement. God, I hope so. I like that juice in the... I like that juice that was in there this morning. Yeah. Problem is it doesn't start coming out until about two and a half minutes from now. Yeah, but I, I want some juice in there full time with normal faded decay from right. you know, starting tomorrow. <clears throat> hey, Gonzalo, check the uh, trade plans, the sheets in there with the, the option Omega link. It's got all the details. Thank you, discount. Make sure you guys have a plan coming in or just try to jump in willy nilly without understanding what's going on here. Yeah, that's why I'm sitting out. Paper trade, Chad? Yeah, I suppose I could have, but you still got uh, a minute and fifteen seconds. <laughs> yeah, I don't like to be rushed. Let's do a hundred lot paper trade. It's fine. Hundred lot. Had a good conversation with uh, somebody last night that joined the pro membership. They're excited to get started. They're going to start paper trading. So did your 10% uh, profit put you over the six, uh, six figure mark for the month? Uh, yeah, because it's, um, let me see. Let me go to it here real quick. Uh, yeah, I'm up. Yes, because I'm up 975 bucks in it. And the only thing I have on now is those wings. So, so yeah. Nice. I'd like right, to get something out, one way no, or the other. No change in interest rates. Market's coming down. New low of day. Just keep on coming, baby.
and a 4880. What can we usually expect, uh, you know, for the last hour of the day after the after a FOMC day, Steve? Yeah, that's a lot of times the the most volatility comes after he gets done speaking. I don't, you know, it's like the market kind of digested and kind of finds which, you know, kind of jostles around and then a lot of times finds its direction. So kind of keeps moving. Right. So I, I see, and this is more anecdotal than statistical information, but yeah, sure. What I what I remember is it just typically the most movement is happens either kind of during or towards the end of his press conference and then through the end of the day. And then the next day, uh, I find the market kind of picks a direction and and it's pretty trendy tomorrow as well. So if the market's lower here, do we expect it to just kind of then, I mean, for, you know, you don't do power hour, right? No. On, on days like this? And why is that? Because things are just it's too just, volatile? Yeah. The okay. premiums will look super attractive, but right, just from from testing and trading it live, it's just not not my cup of tea. So my spread's trading at 1080, my stop's at 1255. So I need a little bounce. VIX. Above holding above 14, baby. Did we really get above 15 in the VIX two days ago, or is that that little misprint spike? I think that was that misprint. Remember. Yeah, I can't remember. I don't think Vic's got above 15. That doesn't sound right. Yeah, Happy, if you check out my two FOMC trades, I, I sell an iron condor right before the data release. And then as soon as the press conference starts, I buy a strangle. So I'm trying to capture some of this initial decay. And we typically don't get the the majority of the, the volatility of the price movement. So you can capture some profits here. And then right before the volatility starts, try to and after we've already had a decent contraction in volatility, then we buy buy premium. That's the that's the logic behind it. And what a time does he come on? 25 minutes, 1.30 Central. 25 minutes, okay. Happy it's in the uh, trade plans channel. So it's on my trade plan sheet, or you can scroll up, discount, double check, just posted it here in this channel. Yeah, trade plans channel. Channel on the left right below this one. So every month I put po I post a video and a spreadsheet of what I'll be trading for the following month. That's where I that's where it's posted. Yeah, getting a little bounce. Got down to the low of forty eight seventy two. Getting a tiny bit of decay so far.
So what so does my, it mostly? Oh, go ahead. I was just saying my um, 30% profit targets at six bucks. So does it typically bounce around a little bit for the next 30 minutes until he speaks and then it usually see another yep. move one way or the other? Yep. Gotcha. So my spread's trading at 730. My profit target to close halves at six bucks. Got to mute myself and listen to what the business channel is saying here. So 4890 ish. It's kind of my sweet spot, my center. We can kind of bounce back up to where we started. That would be ideal. Suck some of that premium out. Vic still holding around 14. S&P down a full percent. NASDAQ down 1.4. Notes and bonds are up. 10-year yield down about 1.7. Although it's bounced a little bit since we got started here. Euro and the pound flat. Close that the Feb nine time fly. The Feb two still about the same. Put on a rut duck yesterday. Our MES is coming back, coming back into range with this little down move. So this one that has uh, 44 days, probably hold this till early next week. We're basically, after adjustments, we're basically right at break even right now, maybe up a little bit. This one is pretty close to break even as well. QQQ up a little bit. Just need a little little ten point bounce. <clears throat> A 
Dan the B-Man, you had a 12 points. Oh, you must be doing a ratio. No. So you just had like a, a little or two and a half dollar stop. Not sure that's big enough. If I'm reading your post correctly. We'll bounce back up to 82. The expected move to start the day was just under 29, still over 25 for the remainder of the day. All right, so I'm up about a thousand bucks. Just need a little, little more bounce, a little more theta decay. Spreads trading at seven sixty. My profit target to close halves at six. I've not tried or tested that happy, but. So you're saying after the FOMC release, they increase by 10%. I have not seen that. It usually starts contracting fairly quickly. Um, you know, I guess it depends on where price moves, but if we're talking about the same strikes. You know, and then you you then you then you run into the uh, well. If I miss my fill, then you miss out on the entire trade. You know, is it worth trying to you know pick try to get the best fill for the entry, but missing out on the fill? You know, you start getting into that whole thing too. But, I, but you can certainly test that in Option Omega. Just change the time of entry.
Yeah, right when the data came out, we did get a little, I mean, it's pretty normal to get kind of a big fluctuate, you know, the bid ask spreads get pretty wide in VIX right about then. So I don't know if it'd be considered misprint or not. Previously, March had been more likely for a rate cut. Now it says March and May are both priced at about even odds based on the interest rate futures. All right, so if we can get it to bounce here in about the next seven minutes, that'd be nice. He starts speaking in about 12 minutes. Yeah, 2.30 Eastern. Yeah, my p and is now, it's hovering right around unchanged. Going to need a bounce to profit. Right, about five and a half minutes till I exit. And back down towards lows of day.
I've got a $4 stop loss. Happy. So it's, so I got in at eight dollars and fifty five cents. So it's at twelve fifty five. My spread's currently trading at nine forty nine thirty. Not giving me the bounce I'm looking for. New lows of day. Check the uh, check the test. You can actually hold it a few minutes longer, and it's just as good or better. Holding it a couple minutes past twenty five. So see if we can give it a little bit more room. I think he uses a pretty pretty big stop, doesn't he, Ken? If I remember right. All right, so I'm going to change my Let's see if I can get out of it a get out for a few shekels if we get a little bounce. All right, so it is time to start looking to close. I'm just giving it a couple minutes, see if we get a little bounce. Scratch out a couple nickels.
press conference starts in about four minutes. Just a little bit more. All right, there we go. Fill the 850, fill the 840, fill the 835. All right, so basically a scratch trade. Paid for commissions plus a little lunch money. All right, so now I am going to wait until about five minutes after he starts speaking. So 235 Eastern, 135 Central. And I will be buying a long strangle. Oh, I still have my longs here. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of those. So my long strangle I like to do at the 30 delta, which currently would be the 4895 calls, 4860 puts. That's what it would be right now. I'm going to wait. Every bounce is getting shut down so far. What do you mean by IV is still above 25? What IV are you talking about? The implied volatility for the zero day options is 45 and a half. The expected move is 25. The thesis is that we've gotten some contraction and so we're trying to buy premium to take advantage of the volatility of price really moving. You know, so price came out, we got some decay. Of course, you know, price didn't go back to our center, never passed back through our center. So we weren't really able to hit a profit target, but you know, you still got some decay after the announcement and the and the move. I mean, this was a pretty fairly muted move. I mean, I guess it's 18 points. But I would assume we'll see a bigger range than that throughout the rest of the day. I mean, the expected move still remaining is 25.
Jay Powell comes on the stand, the market starts to bounce. So I'll be getting in here in a few minutes. Most likely be hitting profit target on that iron condor, but it's not how it tests. All right, so it looks like the 4,900 calls and the 4870 puts I'll give it just another minute All right, going in 4,900, 4,865. Sold at 1080. So my profit target is 1460. All right, Jerome, do your magic. Make the market move. Make the VIX come up, Jerome. How's his skin tone, Morrow? Smooth or wrinkly? Drop the bomb, Jerome. Drop the bomb. Yeah, do it. Do it. <laughs> It will likely be appropriate to begin reducing rates sometime this year. I didn't catch that one, Annette. That's funny. What were they protesting for him to stop, stop increasing rates?
<laughs> Environmentalist protesting to Jerome. I didn't know Jerome was a uh, anti-environmentalist. Oh, yeah, that's going to send it down. Come on. Could unduly weaken economic activity. All right, so I need a quick move to like 48.63 or up to above 4,900. The longer it takes, the wider it has to go. I mean, if a purple-haired woman barges into my office, I'd probably say the same, say the same thing as Jerome. Right back to where we started before the data release. Yep, seeing that VIX go down, unfortunately. All time high is coming. Yeah, let's not take back all the downside we saw. Yeah, I need about forty nine oh. Three forty nine oh four to hit my profit target. But I need it quickly. Up to 4,900. Spreads trading at 1120. I need 40, 1460. There's a quick six points.
I'm telling you, man, all time high is coming before this day is over, probably. <laughs> it's unreal. Russell and the Dow are both green. SP still down 26, NASDAQ still down 140. So, so Steve, again, tomorrow, what's what's the day after look like? Usually you mentioned a little bit about it earlier. Yeah, I I, I kind of my experience of trading it, it um and again, this is more anecdotal, but it's more trendy. So things kind of get digested and the market just kind of moves in one direction. Just like a slow day grind after, one after. way or the other. Yeah. I like to I like to kind of try to figure out which direction it's going and trade futures in that direction. Right. I had a lot of success doing that. It didn't give you full profits unless you held it, Chris. All right, five more points. Quick little five point push up. Trading at thirteen. Nice Murph dog. Fish, yours hit too. You must have got a little bit lower strikes. I need one more little push. Trying. Trading at thirteen fifty. I need fourteen sixty. Oh, it's close. gonna keep going. It's gonna keep going. I just need less pauses before it gets there. It's not quite getting there. 
every time it does a little pause and pull back, then it has to go a little bit higher. So power hour times in about seven minutes, $4 strikes are 10, 20, 30, 35 wide. I won't be entering any other trades after FMC in it. I was hoping to get out of this one before we signed off. Gonna need another quick push up though. Is Apple today? Uh, tomorrow after the bell. Coming back down. Options still showing a 20 point move remaining. All right, if we're going to come down, let's get down to like 48.50. I mean, come on, let's go. That's what I'm saying. Just blast through lows of day. That VIX up there. VIX trying to creep back up towards 14.
Is Powell into the questions yet? Oh, yeah. He's been in the questions for a while. He's really, they're saying on the business channel here, he's really trying to say the right thing. He's trying to step on toes lightly. Like he's, yeah, he's being very soft. Google stayed still down 6%. Microsoft still about the same, down about one and a half. All right, my friends, I'm going to sign off here. I need uh, I need price to get back up to towards closer to 49.10 or drop into the 60s, 50s or 60s. All right, all. So uh, as far as live stream tomorrow, tomorrow is the first day of February. Uh, so Chad will be streaming live in the morning and then we will be back for power hour. All right, all have a good rest of your day. Take care.